you doing, man? <laughs> Today we're on another cheap eats adventure, spending no more than fifteen dollars per item. Yes, mm. if it's cheap, that means we can buy and eat more food. Can Yay! we do it? Let's do it. We cheap love eats. cheap eats. We love it. Cheap, cheap. Our first stop is at Goz City to eat some Gozleme. So a Gozleme is a Turkish pastry which is hand rolled and filled with ingredients like vegetables or meat and then it is folded and then cooked on a hot plate. It's meant to be crispy on the outside and oozy delicious on the inside. Let's go! So we're ordering our gozelme, comes down to $14. I'm grabbing the cheese and spinach. Delana's getting the herb and chicken, which is their popular items. Can't wait to try it out. Our first meal for today. It's gozzy time, mate. Here we go, our gozelme. First time ever trying it. I got myself the cheese and spinach. It comes with a lot of pieces. So they cut them all up in little squares. So like a nice toasted flatbread and inside there, Ooh. you got that veggie and cheese and a dip too. So I'm not sure what this dip is. It looks like sour cream. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's a really refreshing dip. Very soft flatbread, oozy inside, light and delicious. Definitely could eat a hundred of these. <laughs> so easy to eat. Mm. Alright, now this one has a nice colour to it as well. Look at those veggies. You got peppers, onions, that's chicken inside. Let's try it. Mm. Pretty good. It's like a really nice light snack. I'd have it for breakfast. Mm. Hey, Faye, try it out. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Yum. I like the flat bread. Not bad. It is definitely crispy on the outside. I wouldn't say it's super oozy on the inside though, but the flat bread is really nice. I like that. Yeah. It's very it's thin, crispy. Exactly. Light. Cheers. This is our first time eating any yeah. Turkish food, right? We might need to film a Turkish episode soon. But for now, gozleme. Definitely more delicious with the sauce. It's a good snack. I like it. Hey, what is this? <laughs> Someone took art oh, love heart. Yeah, what do you mean? I was giving you a gozla heart. <laughs> Let's try this goz heart. Give it a go. Oh, this one's more oozy. I definitely like the cheese. Yeah. The spinach though. The spinach? Not a huge fan of the spinach. The yeah, I feel like it would be better with like a cabbage. Or just completely take all the vegetables out and just have a cheese gozleme. That would be awesome. But that's just us personally. Yeah. I reckon if it was just cheese and some meat, oh, that would be really delicious. You mean put the cheese in the chicken gozleme? Chicken and cheese gozleme. But you know what? Yeah, it's a really good snack. I like it. Yeah, it's not bad. $14, really close to our max budget. Mm. You do get a good amount, but I feel like if I wanted to be full on cheap food, this place is not it. Yep. It's a good snack, but it's not a great meal. However, it's really nice to try some authentic Turkish food. Really good. I like the flatbread a lot. Give it a try if you're in Melbourne. So our next stop is at Lulu's Chakrai Tao for some Malaysian noodles. Can't wait to try it out. This place is very popular and very busy too. Let's go. We are seated at Lulu's Chakwai Tao. Yay! Now Lulu's was named after the owner's mother-in-law, Chi Wong, who made it herself at a Penang hawker store in the 90s. So this Chakwai Tao goes back into history. She's been perfecting this noodle for generations now. We're gonna try out their famous noodles. Yes. Now, what are we grabbing today? Oh! 
Unfortunately, these items are $15.90. It is still is $15. Above our budget. However, I have talked to the owner. I said, Lulu, please. I'm really good at washing dishes and they gave us a 10% discount. So we are under budget. Yay! Today we're gonna grab ourselves the Lulu Chuck White Tower, their special noodles, and the Lulu Cha Mi, which is a stir fry and hockey and noodles with prawn, Chinese sausage, and other goodies. That sounds good. Yeah. I'm very happy with it. It's still budgeting. Yes, it is, definitely. Because, you know, we're providing a service. We're gonna be washing the dishes and the toilet for a discount. So exactly. I think that's pretty good. Doing the dishes, since we need the 10% discount. Thanks for working so hard, baby, to feed us. I love you. We met the owner, Chi. Yes, and Chi. Amazing, such a nice man. I love you, uncle, because you gave us the meal for free. Yes. We really appreciate it. He said it was on him, so thank you so much, Mr. Chi. Thank you, Mr. Chi. However, I will still wash the dishes later. Trying out the complimentary tea tarak, ice cold. Not too sweet. Good tea flavor. Not bad. What up, brother? What up, what up? James here, Fizio. What's up, Sash? How you doing, man? Good, man. It's good to be on your video. Uh, Thank you, bro. It's a great spot, so uh, yeah. enjoy. Thank you, dude. And here is our meal. Cheap eats at Lulu. I'm not sure anymore. We came in for two dishes, but yep. ended up with four. It um, is our lucky man. day. It is our lucky day. Thank you so much, Chi, for the free delicious meal. What do we have? So we have their very famous Lulu's Cha Kwai Tel. Yum, and that looks so good. Big fatty prawns, that flat noodle, and some sausage placed on a banana leaf. And then we ordered the... Yes, this one looks really charmy. interesting. Lulu's Cha Mi. Little thick yellow noodles there with also those big juicy prawn and Chinese sausage. We also got some gifts and on Mr. the side Chi. here gave this to us. He recommended the Lulu's Penang Hokkien Mi. Beautiful. Soup noodles. There's Soup a lot noodles. going on there. It's like it's really red. bone broth with chilies and shrimps and prawns. A lot of Wow, and look at this. A spoonful of what? Chili sauce? But mm -hmm. that looks insane. Yeah. Can't wait to try that. And then this is their winter special. Winter special. It is their duck drumstick Kwai Tel Tung. Kwai Tel Tung. Kwai Tel Tung. I hope I'm saying that right. Awesome. Can't wait to dig in. I don't know how we're going to finish this, but we're here for the food adventure. So let's get going. It's let's try something. Adventure. Let's eat. The first thing we're eating today is Lulu's signature dish, the Chakwai Town. Look at that. It smells so good. Hopefully, it's got that 10 out of 10 wok hay. The noodles, thick, bouncy, cooked to perfection with bean sprouts, Chinese sausage, fat prawns, and the presentation, so lovely too. There are multiple spice levels that you can get. You can get mild, spicy, or super hot. We got hot today, so let's try it out. Hopefully it's not too crazy. Cheers. Oh, wow. Ooh, look at that. Gonna try out that juicy prawn, let's go. Oh, yeah. Mm. Prawn is amazing. It's so fat and juicy, so much full flavor. A really good chocolate towel for an affordable price. For only $15, under budget, 90 cents too. It's pretty damn good. I'll definitely come back for this meal, and it's not too hot. I think you can go spicier, babe. You could have went max spice because I, even I can handle this. Next up, we got the char mi, char min der. And this comes with hockey and noodles, as you can see. Thicker noodles here. Looks really good. Dip it in that. Let's go. Interesting. I'm getting like the same feels as the char kway tower, however, with the noodles, it's a little different texture. I would choose the char kway tower over this. Mm. Go for it, babe. My turn! The chocolate towel. It definitely doesn't look spicy at all. Cheers. Mm. I definitely feel a kick to it though. Yeah. But oh my god, these noodles are so nice and squishy and it's just hooked in 
with all the sauces and the flavors. It's just so delicious. Try it with the prawn. The prawn is definitely a highlight. I like it. It's a good chocolate. I can see why it's so popular. Yeah, big shout out to the chefs. Try out this one too while you're at it. It's uh, pretty much the same. Same same to me. Same same. I do like pocky noodles, but these ones are definitely on the thinner side. They're not the thick pocky noodles I'm used to. So I'll try this out. <laughs> you like? Well, yeah, it's also good because it's like the same ingredients, same flavor, same seasoning. However, I feel like the only difference are the noodles and that you can control the level of spiciness. Now, this is the ultimate bowl of noodles right here. It's got a bit of everything. You got pork, you got beef, you got chiliness, you got the prawns, you got these little shrimps here even, and you've got two types of noodles. It's kind of like a laksa. Let's try out the noodles first. Oh wow, the soup's like a seafood soup. Ooh. Even though it has so much meat, it tastes shrimpy, that's for sure. You got these pork pieces. Mm. Oh wow. Oh man, this is amazing. Soft pork bone ribs. Soft pork bone rib. And the beauty of this is that you can eat this bone because it's weak and delicious, wow. Now they've added a little chili into this spoon. Am I supposed to just dip it in? Mix it up. Oh. <coughs> that is so spicy. Wow, that a real bad noise. <coughs> Holy moly. I really need to get that chili out of that soup. Oh, very, very tasty noodle dish. So here we have the duck drumstick noodle soup. Comes with thin flat noodles, fish cake, the duck drumstick fish ball. Ooh. Looks really good. Ooh. I kind of really want to try that because it reminds me of pho a little it bit. It does, it does. I was going to say the same thing. It smells so good. If you're Vietnamese and you've tried bột dill nam yang, it smells exactly like that. Wow. Try the broth first. <laughs> that warms my belly. Tastes exactly like whole deal nam yang. Oh, for real? Yum. This is so delicious. I love this. It's a light broth. It's very flavorful. It just warms my belly and I can see why it's a winter special. It is perfect for winter. Let me try some noodles. It has been sitting here for quite a bit. So yeah, so it's kind of breaking, breaking apart. apart. Yeah. Soaked up a lot of that soup as well, but when it came out fresh from the kitchen, it looked really nice. Yeah. Should have ate it straight away. Yeah. But. The only downside of filming food vlogs is that we need to shoot B-roll shots and other shots as well before we can actually eat. How is That's it? That's delicious. Although it's breaking apart, the noodles aren't super squishy and they aren't super soft, but you still get a bite. I really like it. You know what? This is a really good bowl of noodles so far. And if I was to come here, I'd get it again and actually eat it straight away. Try the fish balls. You love fish balls. Mm. You love fish pizza. I'm surprised you haven't had a bite of it yet. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I like that. That's a good fish bowl. Oh, this one's just okay. This one's a bit tougher. Yeah. Or maybe hasn't been cooked long enough. So this one's just okay. But the star, it's right here. All oh, right, of course, I forgot about it. We've been eating it around that. That's the main. Say best to last, you know. Best to last. The Penang duck drumstick. Now this duck has been floating around Penang. He decided to come to Australia where it met its unfortunate end. It just breaks apart. Wow, that is so tender. Look at that meat, it's so juicy. Such amazing colors too. Such a good dish, I love this. I love this. I think it's time for you to try this though. Oh, oh. my god, that's a floating okay. spoon. You know I love hocking and vermicelli together. So I love this combination. And I love spicy things. Oh. <laughs> Bit 
shrimpy. Chili oh, shrimp soup. It is soup. so shrimpy. <laughs> yeah, I knew you would be the biggest fan. After eating the duck noodle soup and then trying this, it's just not as good. And I feel like the shrimp flavor is just way too overpowering for me. But if you like seafood and shrimp, this is probably for you, you know? But it's just okay for me. Starting to feel a little full after three dishes. This Cheap Eats episode has been quite intense. However, I have space for another bowl. Let's try it out. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's crazy. Man. That has so much flavor. And MSG overload, I absolutely love it. Very clear broth. That fish was very tasty as well. Now I feel like every time I go to a Malaysian restaurant, I have to get the duck noodles. Hopefully it's available outside of winter too, because this is amazing. This should be on their everyday menu. So full, man. This ain't cheap eats, this is cheat eats, man. This is my cheat meal right now. So many dishes. But on to the next one, let's go. Oh, so bloody full, guys. I don't know how we're gonna do this. I'm okay. Cheap eats, but we must continue. Let's go to the next restaurant. Now it's finally your turn to be looked after. <laughs> hey guys. Hi. Hi. If you're in the city and you want some cheap eats, make sure you try out Hot Star Taiwanese fried chicken for $10. It's like this big our first time trying it so i hope it's good but it looks amazing oh it smells greasy as hell mate let's get it all right let's quickly grab some chicken big bites ten dollars fifty we're gonna get some chicken salt for sure is that it cheese cheese and chicken yeah why not? Not sure. done god damn this chicken on steroids look how big it is this is massive for ten dollars fifty you get a ridiculously oversized piece of chicken. <laughs> Holy moly. Now we got the chicken and cheese seasoning. You can see it powdered a little bit on there. It's extremely hot, so I don't want to burn myself, but hot star, first time trying Taiwanese fried chicken. Cheers. <laughs> Ooh, oh, Absolutely stuffed, but this tastes pretty damn good. Oh, wow. A thin layer of fat over here, and then that meaty, juicy chicken. That is the blood. Everybody's got good, man. Yes! Hot <laughs> sauce, Thank you. Oh, it's heavy. Cheese. Oh, it's actually like pretty good. I thought it wasn't going to be good because of the size. I thought it was going to be really dry, but it's actually really juicy and the crumb is really crispy. And plus you can choose your own flavoring, so that's pretty cool. I like it. Our next stop is at Doddy Piding for some Thai food. Let's go. Welcome to Dodi Dodi! Thai restaurant located on Swanson Street. This place is always really busy, so very excited to try it out. However, I'm so full that all I ordered was a dessert. Yes. So Bay will be taking over. I the video ordered today. their popular Tom Yum noodle soup, level seven spice, level which seven. is their highest spice ever. I'm That's a bit Mark worried. Weems. I'm a bit Mark worried, but I'll give it a go. Also, it came down to twenty dollars and thirty cents because. Monday to Thursdays from 2 to 4 p.m. that's 20% off. So we managed to get two dishes for $20. Now that's Under even 15. cheaper eats. It's there cheap you eat. go. Next time I'll try a meal. But you can I try am some of mine. It's okay. Level seven? Yeah. Mark Ween spice? I don't think so. I think you blind. should build your spice, spice tolerance. So give okay. it a go. Give you it reckon a go. I should start today? Yeah. yeah. And I do have the ice cream if it's cream. too hot. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's perfect. Welcome to Chani Beauty Spice Tolerance. Let's go. Here you go. Thank you. Level 7 spiciness. Level 7. Tom Yum noodles. 
It smells so good. If you know me, I love Tom Yum, so I'm Thank really you. excited to try this. Oh, we got our ice cream. Oh. My coconut ice cream, because I'm starting dessert a little early, guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's already started dessert. Yeah, yeah. I'm still going. Noodle pool? Whoa, that's crazy. So they're glass noodles with Tom Yum soup? Yes. So you can pick the type of noodles you want. Oh. And I wanted glass noodles, but they have like egg noodles, rice noodles. But I wanted to go for glass noodles, because I think it tastes best with Tom Yum. Level 7 spiciness. Look at that color. Red like volcanic lava. Mm. Got some veggies in there. This is pork. Some crackles. So you'll have to eat it, baby. Uh, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> oh my god, that's just steaming lava. Jeez. It is called the supernova. Supernova. Supernova slice. Go for it. Good luck. Okay. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, okay. Interesting. Oh, damn. Oh. <laughs> it hits you straight away. I wouldn't say it's too spicy for me, but it's definitely spicy. And plus with the Tom Yum flavoring, delicious. I like it. Awesome. You should try some first. Um, uh, <laughs> No! Now it's time to review the, <laughs> the coconut ice cream. A doody doody. Here we got some nuts on top. Yep. And the delicious creamy ass coconut ice cream. Let's go. Not because it's good, but because it calmed down and put out the fire in my mouth. Oh wow. Oh, it's pretty good. Mm, not bad. Hello guys and welcome to the Thailand Cup Kun Cup Doody Doody Mukbang. Swati Ka. I'll be in the background enjoying this dessert. One of many desserts that we'll be having today. This was pretty cheap too and 20% off. Why the hell not? Quite basic though and in a cup. A bit strange but okay, I'll take it. Do you want to try some of my noodles? No. Was it really spicy for you? That was a, one of the spiciest things I've eaten in a while. Like I couldn't even taste any flavor of the soup. All I could taste was my throat shriveling and my tongue burning. Is that what it's supposed to taste like? Is that a flavor guys? Tongue burning? Because that's what it tastes like to me. Do you like it? Oh yeah, that's delicious. I really like it. I really like the glass noodles. And even though it's pretty spicy, I can still taste the tom yum in it. Delicious. Mmm. Mm. It's a good dish. You know, if I'm hungry, want a quick noodle soup dish for lunch. Although this is definitely on the spicier side. Next time I come here, I would like to try out the pad thai. I like to try out some sides. Do they have a curry puff? I like to try everything. Ooh. That's a burn. She's starting to get a bit of a wet nose. Her eyes are getting a little bit bigger. Ooh. And her tongue getting really numb. I think the buildup of spice makes it way hotter. Like you have it once, it's like, okay, I think it's the more bearable. I keep eating it, yeah. it's pretty damn spicy. It's just, it's just added on flames. Thailand spice is really spicy. It's good, yeah. One of the I can't even talk anymore. Asia. I can feel it now. You need to have a slurp of the noodles. I ain't slurping shit. I need some ice cream. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Oh, that helps. <laughs> Put it inside. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching the Turi Turi Makbang. Kap kung kap. See you later. We're now at Chunky Town for a Korean cheese corn dog. Everybody's favorite, the mozzarella pool, located at QB. Let's order. Your order is here. Kamsamida. Kamsamida. Yay! Enjoy. Let's eat. Let's do it. I love Korean cheesy corn dogs. They're my favorite. The first time I tried one was in Japan. Yep. And I've never tried one in Melbourne before. All right. So let's try it. Let's go. Hopefully, it's got that really good cheese pull. And uh, I was a bit reluctant to order this today because we made them at home. Uh, but let's get it. It's always better at the store. 
Oh, that's not bad. You can do a better one. Take two. Oh, that's a big bite. Let's see that. Sh <laughs> Yee! <laughs> Love it. You finish it all because I had that massive hot star. I cannot eat anymore. I cannot eat that after the hot star. So our go-to toppings is tomato sauce, sugar, and look at that cheese. And there's also some sausage in there too, at the bottom. Yep, and awesome. The cheese is really good. The only thing is, it's just definitely not as soft. Like the dough is not soft and the potato, the outside is too hard, it's too crunchy. It doesn't have the perfect balance. It's just making that home. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we gain five kilos. Make it at home, guys. <laughs> you can eat 10 in a row. My turn, let's do it. Oh, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> like a noodle. Like a noodle. <laughs> oh, there's no more cheese. We reached the sausage though. But definitely not enough cheese. Not enough cheese. Mm. Our last stop is at Bucket Mono Bakers for some dessert. Let's see. Bucket Mono time. time. We're eating at an alleyway because there's nowhere to eat inside Bucket Mono, but yes. that's okay. It's that drizzling a, a yeah. little bit as well, so. Melbourne weather for Don't you. Mind. So here you can see we got the melon pan, we got a chocolate croissant, yep. and, and this also is a this mixed berries with mixed Nutella custard. Berries, yeah. There were a few yeah. things that were sold out as well because we're coming in the afternoon, but that's fine. Three is enough. Yep. Under budget still. It was nineteen dollars fifty for three. Easy stuff. All right, let's go, babe. Okay. Chocolate croissant. I'll hold this for you. And you? Oh, what? Yep, I got it. Ooh. Crunchy, a crispy, and chocolate inside. Cheese. Cheese. Bakemono, which oh. means monster in Japanese. First one is really light, the pastry is flaky. Chocolate's really good. I reckon I just need to heat it up a little bit and it'll be perfect. Yeah, or get it fresh in the morning. Mm. Would be the best time at every bakery. Okay. Otherwise it's good, I like it. I'm gonna try out my melon pan. Oh my God, it's pouring now. Anyway, melon pan time. Oh wow, it's quite hard. Interesting, but not in a bad way. I think that's just like a bit of a sugar coating and very soft at the bottom. So let's go, melon pan. Mm. I'm in Japan. Really? I hope you guys are having a great time and I wish you were here. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, it's pouring. <laughs> it's pouring. I'm <laughs> gonna try out the chocolate croissant now. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah. That's tasty. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. This is alright, this one. I wouldn't say it tastes exactly like Japan. And our last dessert for today. Mixed berries. Mixed berries for mm. our last cheap eats. Yeah. Enjoy. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty though. I know. Look at those berries. Glisten. Whoa. Oh wow, what's that? It's Nutella custard. Yum. I didn't know that. Ooh. Whoa, look at that. Insane. The pastry. Cheese. Go for it. Oh. Oh. You lost the battery. No, that's like a dollar. You lost the battery. We're doing oh. cheap eats. You gotta savage everything. Ooh, yeah. I like this though. I do like the pastries here and I think they are quite affordable. So if you're feeling like some desserts or croissants, check them out. And that's the end of another video. Thanks for watching another Cheap Eats app. Spending no more than $15. 15. My favorite from today was Lulu's Char Kwai Tao. Thank you, uncle, for the free shout. Yes. Next time I'll be paying. And my second favorite was the dessert, Bakemono, because I'm a big baka. Bae, how about you? I would say the same. Oh, I really? really enjoyed Lulu's and yep. the desserts were pretty good. But definitely would come back for the delicious bowl of noodles. Oh, yummy, yummy, yum. Yeah. Take care, guys. Thanks we for love you as always. Bye-bye.